Hello there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I thought I would review the Stock Swoosh 2017 Trade Room Tracking. And actually we're going from January to November so this is pretty much the whole year. 11 months of the year. We'll see what December brings. But I thought I would review this for everyone. Because if you're interested in my information, if you want to learn my method and trade in 2018 with me in the live trading room, you can email me at melissa at the or call me at 929 gap I teach a class and you have to learn my class and method before joining the room. However, I'm doing a holiday special until December 15th. If you're interested, I'll talk about that at the end tonight. You can also follow me in any social media place where I have a lot of videos about webinars and market calls. This really has been a great year and I think 2017 more than any other year so far since I've had the business uh, really has shown people that you can do it. Uh, it's really about empowering yourself to trade, meaning that number one, you learn the method from me and then you do it yourself. And it's about building the confidence and conviction in yourself to do it. So starting at the beginning of this year, after the holiday break, January 23rd, QCOM was a winner. January 24th, Verizon was a winner. January 25th, TXT was a winner. 126, Matt was a winner. 127, Juniper was a loser. CL was a winner. 130, TPX was a winner. 131, UA was a loser. 21, PBI was a winner. Cross was a winner. HBI was a winner. This is into February. Then February 6th off, February 7th, Coors was a winner, February 8th, ACAM was a winner, the 9th, Cree was a winner, UBNT was a winner on February 10th. Good start to February. Then 213 was Google Option winner, Hain winner, AMKR winner the next day, Fossil winner, Trip was a loser, 216, 217 closed. Then 220 closed, 221 no calls, 222 toll was a winner, LB was a winner the 23rd, 24th no trades. 27th AFSI was a winner, 228 target was a loser, 31 BBY was a winner, 32 KR was a loser, PBR was a winner, 33 big was a loser, cost was a winner, 36 TSM was a winner, target option winner was a nice one on in March for target, 37 TIVA was a winner, P was a winner. 38 Urban was a loser, Google Option winner, TLRD was a winner, 39, 310, Zoom Z was a winner. Then 313 no calls and took a vacation in March. 320 no trades. 321 CSIQ was a winner, Nike was a loser, and then one winner, 322. 323 F was a half lost loser, Fennel was a winner, 324. 327 GII was a winner, no trades to 28. 329 was a busy day, Depot was a winner. BABA option winner, Google option winner, and Amazon option winner. Lulu was a winner on the 30th and 31st. BBRY was a winner. April then started out good. Google option winner, Lulu option winner, Kate was a winner. Spy was a winner, Google option winner, the 5th. 4-6 cost was, was a winner, and 4-7 no trades. Should expect if you want to learn my system, there will be days when there nothing meets my criteria. And so the, the best thing to do is no trades. 4-10 was no trades. 411, UAL was a winner. ON was a winner. 412, TSCO was a winner. INFI was a winner. The 13th, WFC was a loser. Peer was a loser. And Peer was a winner. Two trades in the Peer on the 13th. Market was closed on the 14th. And the 17th, we were closed. 418, Kate was a winner. JJ &J was a winner. 419, IBM was a winner. 420, Verizon loser. EBA, eBay loser. And the Navy winner. EBA was, was rough that day. It was in April. 421 room was closed. 424 Google option winner. QQQ winner. 425 ESRX loser. Lily loser. ABX winner. Netflix option winner. 426 Cree was a winner. X was a winner. 427 AAL was a winner. CLF was a winner. 428 QCOM was a loser. ITCI was a loser then in May, start out the month. May 2nd, AMD was a good winner. May 3rd, Groupon was a winner, Google Option winner. May 4th, AVP was a winner. May 5th, Apple Option winner. May 8th, HCNP was a winner. 5-9, BABA Option winner, HTZ winner. 5-10, Fossil winner, Depot loser. 5-11, IBM Option winner, M Huge winner. Remember that date, it was May 11th. 
May 12th, JCP was a winner, an app, Amazon option winner on the 12th. 515 was Spy was a winner. 516 Google option winner. DKS was a loser. 517 AEO was a loser. JPM was a winner. 518 Cisco was a winner. 519 Foot Locker winner. 522 was a class, was on a Monday. 523 room was closed and the 24th room was closed. 525 Google option winner, Amazon option winner, Facebook option winner that day. 526 to 530 room was closed for the Memorial Day holiday. 531 course is a winner. 61 HPA winner and EXPR was a loser. 62 RH was a winner. 65 no trade. 66 HDS was a big winner. Sometimes things swoosh, and that's something you learn from me in the course if you want to take my class to learn what that is. 6-7, DLTH was a winner. 6-8, Urban was a winner. 6-9, Pay. First trade was a loser, second one winner. 6-12, No Trade. 6-13, Cake was a winner. Next day, HRB was a winner, and KR was a winner. It was a good, solid week. Then 6-19, Spy was a winner. 6-20, No Trades. 6-21, Doby was a loser. Oracle was a loser the next day, and then BBY was a big winner for the 23rd. And again, it had a continuation gap. BBY was a winner on the 26th. 627, AL, ALDR was the first trade was a loser, and then the second one was a winner. Another one was a little bit rough. Sometimes things need a retake. Again, you will learn that in the class if you decide to take it. 628, PayX was a winner. Fred was a winner. And then Nike was a winner on the 30th to close that June. Then up for July 3rd to the 7th. July 10th, ANF was a winner. July 11th, Quartz was a winner. The 12th, No Trades, STX was a winner on the 13th. JPM was a loser, and WFC was a loser on the 14th. That was one of those days. Just nothing seemed to be working. And then 717, Light Day, No Trades. 718, Hog was a good winner. 719, IBM was a good one. It was a winner. QCOM then was a winner on the 20th. GE was a loser on the 21st. 724, HIB was a winner. 725 STX was a loser, Mew was a winner. 726 F was a winner, and Akin was a winner. 727 Twitter was a winner. 731 No Trades. Typically Mondays are the slowest days. 81 UA was a winner. 82 AMC was a winner. T was a huge winner on the 3rd of August. And then INFN was a winner on the 4th. Spy was a winner on the 7th. Car was a winner on the 8th. Disney was a loser, and Fossil was a winner on the 9th. 810 M was a good winner. 811 Snap was a loser, and JC Penny, Penny had one winner and one loser if you did it. 814 QQQs was a winner, DKS was a winner, then on the 15th. Then on the 16th, DKS was a loser, did not follow through right. Spy was a winner. LB was a winner on the 17th. 818 Phil Locker winner, 821 Fran was a winner. Momo was a winner on the 22nd. Cree was a one loser and one, uh, two losers. I mean, the Cree was just a bust on the 23rd. And then 24th, Tiva was a loser. ANF was a winner. CAG was a winner. 825 was a TV day off. 828, no trades. 829, BBY was a winner. HRB was a winner on the 30th. 31st was CN that was a winner. That was a good, solid week. 91, AMBA was a winner. And then off for the Labor Day holiday. 911, SPY was a winner. 912, ICPT was a winner. 913, no trades. 914, HTZ was a winner. Oracle was a winner on the 15th. Spy was a winner on the 18th. 19th was SNCR was a winner. The 20th BBR was BBBY was one loser and another loser, unfortunately, but it did work finally right then the next day, 921, and was a winner. Sometimes you can go after them the following day if they don't work out the day of the gap for the continuation. 922, Matt was a break even. KMX was a winner. Finnell was a loser. 925, Facebook was a winner. 926 DRI was a winner, Nike was a winner, and then the 928 no trades. Okay, so going into October here, October 2nd, TV day off. The third was TTS was a winner. TV was a winner on the fourth, no trades on the fifth, and Cost was a winner on the sixth. 109 Cost was a winner, 1010 Dow was a winner, 1011 HTSM was a loser, WMT was a winner. 1012 JPM loser, TV winner, and 1013 TV day off. 1016 Spy was a loser, but Apple was a winner. 1017 Hog was a loser, and WY was a good winner. 1018 Spy was a loser, IBM was another good winner. Apple was a winner on the 19th, that was really a nice gap. And 1020 G was a loser, and CLG was a winner. Matt was a winner on the 23rd, 
GE was a loser on the 24th. Loji was a loser. Matt was a break even. 1025, Juniper was a loser. AMD was a winner. And CLG was a loser and a winner. Two trades missing in the first one in that 1026 trade. Because uh, really they both were profitable, but then they flipped. But there were two significant calls in that wherever you got out. It was a very, very good gap then that played through pretty much most of the day then if you did a second trade. 1027, TV day off. 1030, MRK was a winner. 1031, UA was a loser. QCOM had two trades and they were both winners. DDV was a winner on the first. TV day off the second. Radio did Fox Radio on the third. 11.6, no trades. 11.7, Trip was a winner. 11.8, Snap was a winner. 11.9, AMD was a winner. 11.10, Disney was a winner. Solid week. 11.13, no trades. 11.14, no trades. Target was a winner in the 15th. 16th, VIAB was a loser. Walmart had two winners. It was a good one. 17th was WSM loser. And then Ross was a loser. 11.20 and 27th room was closed for the holiday. 11.20 was Momo. 11.29 TV day off. And 11.30 Spy was a winner. So 228 trade calls, only 53 losers in an entire year's period. 173 winners and there were a few break-even trades. So the win ratio for the calls in the room for the entire year of 2017, not including December, we just started. We'll see what we are by the end of the year, but 11 months, which is, you know, pretty darn good, 76% win ratio. That is amazing. I knew it was a good year. Uh, I definitely, definitely knew it was a great year. And sitting down now looking at all the results today, you know, it, it really was. So the bottom line is that my system works. If you take the calls that I make in the live trading room and follow what I say every day, Monday through Friday, that means that out of every 10 trades, 7.6 will be winners and the rest will be losers. That means you're profitable. So, you know, all you have to do is learn my system, learn my method. You can do it yourself or you can join the live room, but you have to do my class to be a member of the room. I am offering a holiday special, which I think is invaluable for people because you'll get my calls for the whole year if you sign up for the class in December. And I'll go over that in a minute. But this, it was a good, it was a good year. So the class where I teach my method is called the Golden Gap Course. And most of the trades that I just reviewed were shorts, although there were some longs of the course of the 2017 year. But I do prefer to short, all right? Anyways, the class is online. It's a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and place stocks that are professional bearish gaps. So the last class of 2017 is December 16th and 17th from 9 to 5 Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $4,999, same price for everyone. If you're interested, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com to sign up. You cannot sign up from the website. You must email me to register and sign up. And if you want to make sure you get in for this class, just people sign up already, I definitely would email me and register sooner rather than later because I will take a certain amount of people, I will cut it off because I'm not going to talk until midnight answering questions. The class is live and you will have to take notes and you will want to be there live to write down questions and review everything and ask me questions and get it. And that's the important thing about doing a live class where people can ask questions and you can participate. And I think that's, I think it's extremely important really in the learning process. So it is December 16th and 17th, Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Don't miss out on your chance to learn my method this year. You can learn it now before 2018, so then you'd have a whole year to train. And, you know, this could be the year for you to really turn the corner for yourself, for your trading, for your finances, and for your life. Because if you've been thinking about ch ch changing careers or really learning a good trading method if you've been negative, to go from negative and positive, I'm telling you my method works. I just went over all the trades called in the room for the entire year, 2017. So I am offering a holiday special. If you're interested, it's only through December 15th. What does it include? If you sign up for the Golden Gap course, which is $4,999, if you sign up for that by December 15th, as long as you can get in the class by then, you will be doing the class on December 16th and 17th. You'll receive the trading room free for the year and the gap options free letter free for the year. So if for some reason the class would become full and you want this offer, you could sign up by Friday and do the January class. You'd have to pay by December 15th. You'd still get the options letter and the room free for one year for 2018. 
okay? But this offer is only good through December 15th. And if the class fills up for December, then you, you have to pay for the January class by December 15th to get this offer, and then you do the January class. But you want to you wanna learn it and get started as soon as possible. So take advantage of this great opportunity to trade with me for the entire year. It's going to be a good year. And part of the reasons I think that I did so well this year and was so strong in everything is because I've started doing television. I've also now been trading for almost 10 years. It clearly has reflected in my calls results, my ability to be able to predict things before they happen. And the longer that you trade, the better you get and the more conviction and confidence you have. And that is the way it is supposed to be. That is the way it's supposed to be. Most people never really get good at any trading strategy or system because they veer off course and do too many different things all the time. I created my own system. I'm the only person out there that teaches it. I'm the only one that invented it, so I've been doing it longer than anybody else, including every student I've ever taught. I have a high level of confidence and conviction in it. It works, okay? You go back and look at all the gaps I just showed you for the entire year of all the ticker symbols if you wanted to and the dates. And the bottom line is, if you're in the trading room, you will have the benefit of getting the calls with the entry and the exit and the stop every single day live, which really is invaluable, particularly to start you out if you're new. So empower yourself to trade the market for 2018. It's going to be a great year. And if you want to be part of the Stock Swiss Show live trading room and be a student, be part of the group, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com to sign up for the class in December or sign up for the special to the class in January. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season, everyone.